Martin Luther King Jr. meant everything, everything to the African-American community. This young man had emerged as a leader, as a fighter, as a warrior for change. To end segregation, to end racial discrimination, and to lead America into a different direction, to create what he liked to call the beloved community. He gave black people hope. We didn't have any hope when I was a kid growing up. The Ku Klux Klan was running crazy over here in Muncie, doing anything they wanted to do treating black people any way they wanted to treat them. Couldn't swim in the public swimming pool. You couldn't sit on the first floor of a theater in Muncie. You couldn't be served at a restaurant. Muncie was a terrible place for black people. But our parents paid taxes just like anybody else. And that pisses me off. Segregation was real. You could taste the bitter fruits of racism. I saw those signs that said white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting. People cannot register to, to vote, for the most part, in 11 states of the old Confederacy, from Virginia to Texas. Dr. King changed that. The long-anticipated Freedom March from Selma to Alabama's capital of Montgomery finally gets underway as Dr. Martin Luther King addresses the crowd at the starting point. He gave us hope. He taught us the way of love, the way of peace, the way of nonviolence. He freed me. He liberated me. He freed our nation. He liberated us all. Martin Luther King Jr. went to Memphis. There were people in need, people in trouble. They needed some help. And in doing so, he literally put his life on the line. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. I think he saw something or felt something that others maybe didn't feel or didn't see. It was sort of like a farewell address to his followers, to the people of the movement, and to the nation. <laughs> 